I'm going to be talking to you about uh, GABA, which is a neurotransmitter, and uh, benzodiazepines, which are a type of drug um, that affect or regulate GABA signaling. Um, that's, I believe, the TV show, Yo GABA GABA. Um, <laughs> it's not really appropriate, but it looks <laughs> 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 pretty cool. Okay. Um, so yeah, what is GABA? Um, GABA is gamma amino butyric acid. Uh, that's what it looks like. Um, it's made from glutamic acid, uh, which is an amino acid. Um, and it gets made in the neurons that it's going to be released from. So this is sort of interesting. Um, I think with, like, with a lot of other neurotransmitters, um, they sort of have one effect all the time. Um, but depending on the developmental stage or the age of an organism, they can have the completely opposite effect. So um, in grown mammals, or most of the time, uh, GABA works to uh, inhibit or sort of decrease the likelihood that a neuron is going to fire. Um, but early on during development, it does the opposite. Um, it triggers neurons to fire. Um, they're not really sure why this happens, but that's sort of a neat, neat thing about GABA. So like I said, GABA, um, it's the, the primary inhibitory neurotransmitter. Uh, in, in the mammalian brain and spinal cord. So that's the, the central nervous system. Um, so it's, it's the primary chemical that tells neurons not to fire or makes them less likely to fire. Um, so the, uh, like, like all other neur neurotransmitters, uh, GABA is kept in vesicles, um, so little um, organelles inside the cell. Um, the action potential, which is the electrical signal coming along the axon, comes along and uh, tells the vesicles to release uh, the neurotransmitter into the synapse. Uh, and so that's how GABA has its effect. It's released into the synapse and it binds uh, receptors um, in the, the postsynaptic neuron. For so this is, the, I guess, a picture of what I was talking about. Um, so those little circles are the, the vesicles that have GABA in them. Um, the action potential comes along the axon and releases or tells the vesicles to release their contents into the synapse and then GABA binds to its receptors and then that's how it has its effect. So what, what does GABA or how does GABA tell uh, cells not to fire? Um, so the way uh, neural or nerve impulses are, are um, the way that they transmit nerve impulses is through a, a chemical gradient or an electrical gradient of ions. So uh, normally uh, inside a neuron uh, or a resting neuron, um, it's going to be more negative than the outside of the cell. Um, so to make that neuron fire, uh, there's a quick change of polarity. So the inside becomes more positive than the outside. Um, so GABA, uh, make cells less likely to signal. So they make the inside of a cell uh, more negative than it already is. Um, so there's two different types of receptors that GABA binds to. Um, they both have the same effect, um, making the inside of a cell more negative than the outside. Uh, but depending on the receptor, there's two different ways it can go about this. It can let uh, chloride into the cell, which is the GABA A receptors, or it can pump uh, potassium out of the cell which is the GABA B, uh, GABA B receptors. So this causes uh, transmembrane hyperpolarization, or making the inside more negative than the outside. Um, and so this makes uh, the neuron um, less likely to fire. So like I said, there's uh, different types of GABA receptors. Um, I'm going to talk mostly about the GABA A receptors, because these are the ones that uh, benzodiazepines work on. Um, the GABA C receptors are a lot like the GABA A receptors. Um, they're made up of different uh, subunits, but they're, they're really similar. Um, but they're sort of weird, and they're mostly just in the retina. Um, so Ga GABA A receptors are what we call ionotropic receptors. So that means that the receptor itself is an ion channel. So when GABA binds it, um, this causes a change in the protein, and it lets chloride into the cell. Um, the GABA B receptors are called, or just part of a class of receptors called metabotropic receptors, and this means that they're not uh, ion channels themselves, but they signal to ion channels, and that's how they have 
uh, their effect. So, uh, yeah, GABA A receptors uh, are, so they're heteropetameric. That means that they're made of uh, five different subunits or five different protein chains. Um, they're around 275 kilodaltons, so that's pretty big uh, for a protein. Um, so there's lots of different uh, kinds of subunits. So the um, GABA A receptors can be made up of, uh, or there's different kinds of GABA A receptors. So there's lots of different subunits um, that they can be made up of. Um, I guess the most common one is two different or two alpha subunits, two beta, and one gamma. Um, but they can be made up of lots of different combinations of those uh, different subunits. Um, so the different types of subunits are really closely related, and alpha, beta, or the different types of subunits are also fairly closely related. So they have really similar um, protein or amino acid sequence. So this is an actually a picture of the GABA A receptor. It's the uh, nicotinic acetylcholine receptor, which is also really similar. But there's, like, yeah, really really similar, and there's a nice picture of it. So that's why I included it. Um, so yeah, this is um, yeah, extracellular is outside the cell, and intracellular is in, inside the cell. Um, and it's it's a membrane protein, so it sits in the membrane, um, and when GABA binds it, it opens and chlorides ions can come through the middle. Um, so like I said, it's made of uh, five different subunits. Um, this particular one is made of two alpha-1, two beta-2, and one gamma-2 subunit. Um, so GABA binds at the interface between alpha-1, or between alpha and beta subunits, and uh, benzodiazepines bind at a different site at the interface between the alpha and gamma subunits. So depending on the different subunits that are uh, making up the GABA receptor, um, there's, so like, uh, like I said, uh, GABA makes cells more negative. Um, but there's, I guess, different, or different ways that this can be signaled. Um, so there's tonic inhibition, um, which is, um, comes from a low level of GABA that's present for over a long period of time. Um, so this happens extrasynaptically, like uh, Danielle was talking about, not at, actually at the synapse, but just somewhere else uh, along an axon. Um, so that's sort of maybe less typical and less well understood. Uh, then there's uh, phasic inhibition, which is a lot of GABA um, for all at once for a short period of time. And this happens, this is the type of GABA signal that happens at the synapse. Um, so that's more relevant, I guess, to, to benzodiazepines. So what happens when uh, GABA binds its receptor, or in this case, the GABA A receptor? Um, GABA binds that site um, between the, the two subunits, and this causes the protein's conformation to, to physically change, um, and this causes it to become more permeable to chloride ions. Um, so the chloride ions come or rush into the cell, um, making it more negative and making it less likely uh, to fire. So what are benzodiazepines? Um, that's the general structure of a benzodiazepine. Um, they bind to GABA receptors um, and they're used to treat a, a lot of different um, conditions. So anxiety, insomnia, alcohol withdrawal, uh, epilepsy, and they use muscle relaxants uh, as well. So. Um, as far as they know, benzodiazepines pretty much only work through this one, um, through this GABA A receptor. Um, and so the reason they think that there's, or GABA signal um, has to do, or affects a lot of different processes, because it's, um, they think, like one, something like one third of the neurons um, in, in the cortex um, are GABA urgent neurons, but that means that um, they release GABA when they're uh, triggered. So there's a lot of them, so they're involved in a lot of uh, different processes in the brain. Um, so that's why um, affecting these systems can help with a lot of different conditions that might necessarily seem related um, at, at first. So the, uh, their name comes from uh, their the structure. Um, that ring at the bottom is a benzene ring, and the one at the 